for 1037 The Game and 1037thegame.com. I'm Dave Schultz at the Teague in Lafayette, Louisiana, where the Raging Cajuns rally for three runs in the bottom half of the ninth inning to defeat the nationally ranked Houston Cougars 6-5. to Brian Mills' RBI double caps off the three-run rally. He was looking fastball all the way. Hey, So good. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? Huh? Rephrasing the uh, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do you uh, how do you, you leave those first four at bats in the in the dugout and go up there? Oh uh, well, going into the to that last AB uh, earlier in the game, as you can see, every every time I had two strikes on me trying to battle, so I went in there with the mindset of uh, see fastball, jump on. So uh, I just left it in the dugout. Every time I go up to bed, I leave my last day being a big guy. Coach Tony Robichaud says the hard work has paid off for Brian Mills. Nah, he's worked hard, man. I mean, I came here one Saturday morning. I had to do something, and uh, it was early, man, like 8, 30, 9 o'clock in the morning. And, and I looked up, and um, BT was on the pitcher's mound doing pickoff moves, and Brian was taking leads and breaks on a Saturday morning. We were off. I mean, Brian's put in a lot of work, and he's endeared himself to this team. Everybody pulls for him. You can see what happened when they went get him, you know, and that's what happens when you work hard. The game pays you back. Cajuns actually found themselves down 3 nothing before getting a chance to hit. They did put one on the board in the bottom half of the first inning to close it to 3-1. to one. Greg Davis, though, mired in a 2-for-34 slump, hits a two-run home run to tie things up in the fourth. Oh, yeah, it feels great. I mean, been struggling a little bit at the plate lately. I mean, had to go back to... Just looking for fastball, staying up the middle, not trying to do too much to press and get out of that slump. And I mean, good things happen when you go back to your technique. Davis believes this is the kind of victory that can propel the Cajuns in the second half of the season. This could be a, this could be a big spark right here. I mean, we actually just talked about that in our meeting. Second half of the season right now, we're 2-0. and I mean, we're just taking a half at a time and beat a good RPI opponent like Houston in the late innings. I mean, that's a spark to the team. Everybody starts believing again, like, Man, maybe we can play a little bit right here. Raging Cajuns improved to 17 and 13 with the victory, and they will host Jackson State this weekend beginning Friday at 6 p.m. Once again, your final score from the Teague, the Raging Cajuns score three runs in the bottom half of the ninth inning to defeat Houston 6-5. For 1037 The Game and 1037thegame.com, I'm Dave Schultz.